Welcome to GDPG. I don't have to talk in rhythm, but he's going to try all episode. <laughs> I am. It's going to be ridiculous. So we're back playing more Crypt of the Necrodancer. Uh, I realized we didn't actually talk about the plot of the game in the last episode, um, but essentially we are cursed by the Necrodancer, and we are forced to dance in order to journey through this labyrinth and find him and presumably kill him? Well, hmm. From what I can remember, the Crypt of the Necrodancer killed your father? Or just disappeared one day? This well, is terrible. So I should not be doing this. I don't know, man. It's You haven't lost your multiplier yet. Want to what's, see something fun? That? This what is, is a trap. Oh, no. <laughs> can you use those to actually damage Absolutely. other monsters? Absolutely. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, oh, dragon. No. Oh, he's being stopped by this guy. Let's set him free. Uh, it's down I feel and like left. a dragon should take up more than one square personally, but yeah, it's just boom bombs. That uh, worked quite well. Ah, Thirty coins. Destroyed you. Ah, damn, I thought that was Thirty like, coins. Pile of coins. Thirty coins. Oh, my multiplier's gone. How many hearts can you get? Um, as many as you can afford. Really? Does, does it increase in cost every time you purchase one? Absolutely. So, okay. fun thing about the uh, balance with um, the uh, fun thing about the balance with the gems and everything like that. At this level or this uh, low floor dungeon, I think like most gems I can collect at one given time is something like nine or ten or twelve or whatever it is. And so, you'll eventually start getting items that are very expensive, which means at some point you're just not gonna be able to afford those items until you go to a higher level dungeon. Oh, uh, okay. Watch this. Mm. Bam. Bam. Oh, nice. dead. And I, I assume you mean higher level oh. dungeon meaning just like a lower floor? Yep. Floor okay. two. Yep. I love him. Oh, is he actually singing? So when you leave, does the does his singing? Yeah. Oh, it sounds kind of quiet, right? Man, he can get high. Man, he's. My oh hero. yeah, because now that the vocals have left, he, the little music notes stopped appearing by him. Oh, I got. I got to hurry up. I don't even remember. That's what really. That's really like fun and yet subtle flavor. Like ah, oh, teleportation crap. Oh, already. A trap? I had a teleportation crown on, and the moment you get hit, you'll teleport back to somewhere. And uh, I screwed up and immediately got hit. Huh. Well, at least I got him before this happened. Uh -huh. is, darn da, darn da, darn da, darn is there a downside to transitioning a level that way rather than just going down the stairs? Lose your multiplier. That's it. Oh, okay. Look at this guy. He runs from you. I feel like it would probably be really hard to keep up your multiplier anyway, even if you go down the stairs. Nope. I mean, as in, once you get good at the game, absolutely you can. Oh, okay. I guess that's fair. What's the... Uh... Um, they give you, like, a... Crap. They give you, like, a two, uh, two or three beat, like, chance to recover from um, going through a floor. Oh, okay. Then... Oh, then yeah, it's... baby. Ooh, a spell. All right, it goes up and right, and then it has a cooldown period. Is there a maximum multiplier? Um, right now I'm at three, I think. Like that's as high as you can get? Yes, um, but <laughs> can I, can, I can upgrade that. Oh, okay. Up and right. Oh, okay. that's what Ah, happened. fucked up. I didn't realize he, he hits a wall. Oh, sad day. Yeah, I kept hitting the... Like, I kept getting in my head and pressing the... Um, uh, uh, the, uh, da, 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 what's it called? The bumper instead. Mm. Like, thinking, like, that was gonna take me up or right or something. It's kind of fun that they show you that little replay of, uh, your final uh, moments. Like, that's how you died. <laughs> this is like, how you messed up. It, it just, I just So, look it. at it. Like, last part I bought was, uh, cost, like, two or four uh, or something. Now okay. it costs 12. So, basically, it's saying 12 is gonna be basically impossible at floor one. What's, what's the coin upgrade? Does that mm. increase the coin drop rate? Let's see. Uh, that one, that is my multiplier. So I can increase it by a half of a uh, of a, uh, a whole number. Oh, the maximum multiplier. Yeah, that's oh, the maximum okay. multiplier you were just asking about. 
Uh, find better sense. items or riches. Find better items. Sweet. What's the highest multiplier you've gotten? Four or five or something like yeah. that. All right. Let's just... Because, I mean, and obviously I have a whole bunch of items and stuff like that that mm -hmm. I've unlocked. Do, 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 do. Oh, man, I need money. What can I possibly do about that? Uh, what was it? Down and left. See, I'm also getting used to this controller. So if I press uh, down and left, I throw my bomb. Oh. <laughs> the walls are, are made of gold. <laughs> That's um, genius. Gold. Man, gets really on with the uh, temporary shield. Oh, see all items. That's it. And get me a knife. He's he's actually there's a, a stuffed animal from from him on uh, the indie box. Is there really? At That's the, fantastic. The website, the indie box. Not that I'm like giving him. A, I shout out. I guess I don't know him, but uh, yeah, I it's mean, it's really cool, and I want it. I've personally never tried the indie box, but I always thought that was a fun concept. The only problem with the indie box is oftentimes you get like. There's like stuff that you just don't know. There's like I've I've looked at them and considered trying it out, but yeah, I don't know. It looks cool. Yeah, just, right. But, you know, boxes, man. You never know what you're gonna get, and risk reward. That's true. Oh, get me some armor. See, I can see the armor inside this now. Oh, nice! And it actually changes your outfit. Oh hell, look at that. Oh man. I love this upgrade. Also, I definitely love the like disco tiles going on. It's actually it's kind of a nice way to to further reinforce the rhythm. Cuz it changes it's true. The uh, they give you a lot of indicators. Yeah, I think that's important because I feel like first of all rhythm games are generally hard because it's just hard for the average person to keep on rhythm because not all of us are musicians, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that the reason—I mean, people are musicians because that shit requires training. Like, that's why you can't just like anyone can pick it up and do it. Um, and so, like, this is a rhythm game but with combat and exploration mechanics. There's a lot of like fine-tuned things going on here. So I think all the more visual things and even audio things they can do to reinforce the rhythm the better, because it's, it's, if I were to play this game, I'd probably do horribly. Not only because of the rhythm, but because you really do need to learn the patterns of how your uh, enemies move, because yeah. it's there's a lot in that. Well, then, that dragon, for instance, moves every other beat, oh, okay. but if if you don't kill him with your hit, he hits you. Oh, why'd I move like that? I mean, even rogue roguelikes and roguelites in general tend to be really difficult by themselves, throw in like rhythm mechanics in addition to that like yeah man it, it's just it's a lot to like take in at once i'm actually surprised that this game like oh i got a talisman i don't I've, know what that does i haven't no i haven't played it obviously but it, it seems pretty intuitive from what i can at least watch you do yes Oh, every time I get hit, I, I, uh, or, no, that one time. That one time that I got hit, it froze all the enemies. Oh. Nice little, like, I am screwing up hardcore. Uh, well, you're doing better than you did last run. That's fair. Let's see, up and right. Boom. Whoa! Was that your spell? Yup. Okay, so nine kills or one half part up. Oh, and then that's how you trigger it. So that's that's a kind of a nice way to like um, recharge your spell, require kills or hearts, because a lot of other roguelikes or roguelites Thank you. require like steps, and then it just mm -hmm. seems arbitrary because you just run around in a circle and then it recovers. The only time I think that works is if you have like food and hunger mechanics, and usually that still feels a little clunky. I'm actually surprised I haven't seen more roguelikes base it off of kills. I'm sure there are plenty that do. I, I doubt it's like that original of an idea, but I think it's good. So. I, I, I think it's it's always good because you know me. I'm like, the resource management is is frustrating sometimes when it comes to using special abilities in games. Because right. a lot of times I'll look at it and be like, why can't I just heal right now? We could, like, you, Where you can only heal when you're inside the fight, and it's always mm. kind of weird. 
yeah, that's might as well fair. move on to the next area. All right, here we go. I was just about to ask, actually. Um, I noticed that you do tend to like scope around after you discover like the staircase. And for the most part, like I understand what you're getting at. You're trying to make sure that you, there's not any like good loot that you're missing. Um, and normally I wouldn't have this awesome thing that tells me, hey, this is where the items are. What kind of... Oh, you do have something telling you. Oh, yeah, titanium broadsword. Thank you. Ooh. Just death to everything. Oop, some bombs over here. See, um, one of my favorite things is actually just the torch because it will illuminate the walls and you can see through, like, see through a layer of the walls with it. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. It's yeah. an incredibly, like, underrated item. They, yeah. And they gave a mechanic to something that seems so mundane. Down left. Uh. Yeah, I was gonna ask too. Like they, they obviously have some kind of um, uh, like come on, fog of war, like field of view kind of mechanics going on, um, which is pretty typical of wow. Oh, but you have to give up a heart. I assume it's not a permanent heart though. I don't actually. Yes, it is a permanent heart, and I don't. Wanna, I don't want to give up any of those things. Or, oh, I mean, does it reduce the cost to get fuck. like purchase the upgraded heart again? Um, no, it's only for the dungeon. Oh. Because okay. the item won't last for the dungeon. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, otherwise that would feel kind of. Uh, I'm screwed up because fire dragons are so hard to fight. There we go. Ooh. Well, oh, it's a good tough. point to end the episode anyway. Oh, they're tough. I see the thing I'm having trouble with right now is like getting used to the I'm because I am used to playing with the arrows. So like I use one of these for my main move, but the moment I have to use sure, the item. Sure the camera. Ah. Okay, so I'm using the, the buttons to because they react faster, I'm using the buttons here to move up and down, left and right. But the moment that I want to use like the bomb and it says press down and left at the same time, I have to suddenly use this as well as this. That way I can press you know, the A button move down and then the joystick press left and then it'll activate both of those things at the same time. Problem is, when you're not used to using one for so long, yeah, yeah, you, uh, you, you're like sitting there like, oh God, which one am I supposed <laughs> to use right now? Um, and it's just much easier to use. It probably is just much easier to use on a keyboard, to be honest. That's fair. But uh, but that's just me. Oh, look at this. Cool. Uh, plus uh, one half defense or a wider. Oh my God, the whip. Why haven't I got the whip yet? Mm -hmm. I'm well, some we can we can check out the cheese and the whip in the next episode. Cheese and whip. <laughs> cheese and whip. Oh. Uh, do you want to come up with the question of the day? You got anything? I think it's more of a uh, general question. So, to the viewers that are watching this, what do you think about rhythm-based mechanics and which games have deployed them well? Yeah, and that's also, fair. Yeah, I guess that was sort so of like the main... The sun fly? <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I actually agree. I think that's a good question because that was sort of like the theme of this episode too is like, this is merging a lot of different genres yeah, in ways really that we never expected. Um, but it is interesting, and I think there are a lot of other rhythm games that kind of switch things up, so yeah. I think another reason why, too, that I'm having a little bit of difficulty is when you play this game, you get into it. And oh, you, yeah. you're like, that's why I'm bobbing it's, up it's and down the, right the, now, because like, I'm like, I'm hyper focused. Yeah. Man. And, and when you are not giving your 100% attention to that rhythm thing, you just you, you mess up. And if you, oh, uh, another small thing, real quick, <laughs> real quick. If you mess up and you lose that multiplier because you didn't move on the beat, you also don't move. And so that's a moment that your, oh. your enemies are moving and you are not Ooh. moving. That's, yes. that's actually a pretty big thing, too. See, I got to say that because I wasn't playing. My <laughs> brain was free to say and do stuff. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Mm. Be sure to vote if you want to see more Crypt of the Necrodancer because, I mean, we're having a blast. I mean, you're having a hard time, but I, I think it's super, super. Next, next episode, I'm gonna get through this <laughs> this uh, zone one. Nice. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna beat it. Gonna do it. Just gonna beat it. Just gonna do it. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>